Welcome to ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Today, let us discuss about one important type of pneumonia that is atypical pneumonia. We know that pneumonia is the infection of lung parenchyma. It can be due to viruses, commonly it is due to virus, then bacteria, then fungus and sometimes non-infectious cause also can produce pneumonia. Normally, pneumonia in, in community acquired is produced by streptococcus pneumonia. That is a common pneumonia which we come across in our daily practice. They have typical features of pneumonia like cough will be there, rusty sputum or uh, blood stain sputum can be there, high degree temperature with chills. All these typical findings can be there in pneumonia. That is called as typical pneumonia. But there are some other pneumonias where you don't find these typical features like high degree fever, chills, rigors, severe cough, blood tinge sputum, all these things may not be there and this type of pneumonia may not respond to your routine antibiotics. So normally we know that it is streptococci, so we can give a gram positive coverage like we can give uh, penicillin, amoxicillin, amoxicillin clavulinic acid, levofloxacin, anything can be given. But whereas a typical means, you don't have typical finding like cough may not be that severe may not be blood tinged, fever may be mild, but patient can have other findings like patient can have altered behavior, hyponatremia, seizures, hemolytic anemia, diarrhea. So these atypical findings are associated with some amount of lung infiltration. That is atypical pneumonia. The common organisms are chlamydia pneumonia, legionella pneumophilia, Mycoplasma pneumonia and again one more chlamydia, chlamydia psittaci. So these are the organisms. So basically chlamydia, legionella, mycoplasma. So they are the organisms which can produce pneumonia. They sometimes can produce uh, urinary tract infection or sexually transmitted diseases also. This type of organism can produce sometimes sexually transmitted diseases also. You can see here in this x-ray, first x-ray shows minimal infiltration on the right lower zone. Second x-ray shows a, a uniform white shadow on the right lower zone. That is a consolidation, that is a typical feature of any typical pneumonia. So consolidation is a feature of typical pneumonia, whereas small infiltrates in chest x-ray may be seen in atypical pneumonia. So atypical pneumonia x-ray wise it may mimic viral pneumonia but clinical findings are totally different. Very mild fever, altered behavior, hyponatremia, hemolytic anemia, diarrhea, all these things can be there and when we take x-ray there will be minimal infiltrations. So we have already seen that pneumonia with mild symptoms mild fever, mild cough, hemoptysis may or may not be there but normally a typical pneumonia uh, hemoptysis are not associated. Jaundice can be there that is because mostly because of hemolysis. Diarrhea can be there, hyponatremia can be there, altered behavior can also be there. So that is a typical pneumonia. Then we suspect a typical pneumonia. Now we will see what is mycoplasma pneumonia. It is one of the common cause for community acquired pneumonia. Constant harsh non-productive cough will be there but not severe. Wheezing may also occur with mycoplasma pneumonia. Fever lasts more than three days. Age is uh, more than three years. Hemolytic an anemia is associated. So hemolytic anemia normally we uh, suspect when there is mild anemia, uh, indirect hyperbilirubinemia elevation of LDH. These are the most important findings of hemolytic anemia. Then we can confirm it by uh, peripheral smear, other tests for hemolytic anemia. There are a lot of extra pulmonary complications can also occur with uh, this type of pneumonias. So you can have CNS involvement, cardiac involvement, uh, renal involvement, skin involvement, uh, muscle involvement, joint involvement liver involvement but they are all rare not 
very common commonly what you have seen that we have discussed hemolytic anemia is one of the common presentation now we'll see the treatment of uh, uh, this uh, atypical pneumonia most of the atypical pneumonia including mycoplasma uh, can be treated with doxycycline azithromycin levofloxacin doxycycline normally we can give a dose 100 mg bd in the first day then second day onwards we, we can even give 100 mg od so for 7 to 10 days we have to give but normally doctors give 100 mg bd for 7 to 10 days that is a good dose azithromycin another injection or tablet both are available injection and tablet is available if the patient is admitted in in hospital we can give injection op basis we can give tablet 500 mg oral or iv can be given for uh, 3 to 5 days that is a dose levofloxacin is uh, quinolone it's a respiratory quinolone 750 mg orally or iv 5 to 7 days so what we have to understand here is levofloxacin is the one drug it's a respiratory quinolone it acts against almost all type of respiratory pathogens it can act against gram positive cocci it can also act against gram negative organism which produces pneumonia it can act against anaerobes it can act against a typical organism so that's why most of the guidelines says that levofloxacin is a very good drug which covers almost all type of respiratory infection but the only problem is levofloxacin we as we know it is a second line anti tubercular drug so in india tuberculosis is very common many of us are uh, infected with tubercular bacilli but we don't have the disease so unnecessarily if we are giving levofloxacin in almost all infections without thinking this slowly this drug will become resistant to tuberculosis so it's a second line tb drug we use without any uh, control in future this drug will become ineffective against tuberculosis that's why we try to avoid levofloxacin unless until we have a strong uh, reason to use it but other drugs like doxycycline azithromycin they are all safe drugs they don't have much adverse effects can be given azithromycin in pa some patients oral azithromycin can produce diarrhea Doxycycline also oral uh, uh, doxycycline can produce gastritis and diarrhea. Otherwise, these drugs are very safe. Now, other problems, mycobac mycoplasma genitalium, mycoplasma hominis can also produce sexually trans transmitted uh, bacterial infection. So, they are one of the common STDs uh, we come across. So here also doxycycline or azithromycin can be tried. Another important uh, typical organism is Legionella. Legionella may be a community occurred or hospital occurred or epidemic. It can be, uh, it can present as uh, various type of uh, uh, infections. Legionnaire's disease or Legionella pneumonia is one of the presentation. Here the patient is developing a community occurred or hospital occurred pneumonia. Most of the time they present as a atypical pneumonia what we have seen previously. It is mainly caused by pneumo Legionella pneumophilia, zero group 1. Major risk factor for Legionella's disease is old age smoking, immunosuppression or exposure to contaminated water sources. So that is very important. So it, uh, it, 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 it is mainly spreading in a canvas through uh, air conditioned vents. That is very important. So through air conditioned vents this can uh, spread uh, throughout the building or sometimes uh, uh, it, it can also uh, spread from hot tubs and swimming pools. Another, another disease which, can, which is produced by Legionella is Pontiac disease. It's a less common manifestation of same organism. It produces mild fever. Uh, fever outbreaks can occur. Manage Ma myalgia fever, chills, headache, non-productive cough. This, this looks like a common viral fever, but they don't develop uh, pneumonia. Uh, Legionella without pneumonia is Pontiac fever. Legionella with pneumonia is Legionnaire's disease. So that is also an atypical uh, pneumonia. 
here the one of the most important thing is many patients can present from the uh, same area with same uh, clinical findings onset uh, starts with headache and myalgia like a viral fever fever high degree fever can be there in first few days patient can have typical gastrointestinal symptoms that is very very important diarrhea is a one of the classical feature of uh, legionnaire's pneumonia cough can be there mild productive cough can be there confusion and altered mental status also can be there in many patients uh, according to uh, like uh, many criteria for pneumonia Me- mental uh, 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 problems like uh, confusion altered behavior low gcs are explained in many types of pneumonia that is due to toxicity but here patient is not toxic but initially itself patient can have altered behavior hyponatremia is one of the most important association in uh, regionalized pneumonia hypophosphatemia also can be there so this hyponatremia and hypophosphatemia may be the reason for the altered behavior but toxicity also can sometimes produce altered behavior liver involvement can be there elevated liver enzymes can be there so this pneumonia typically resembles some type of viral pneumonia viral pneumonias so it can be easily confused with viral pneumonia again diagnosis we can do a typical serology a typical serology we do u- urine for legionella and other organism also we can detect in the same uh, sample Uh, zero group 1 can be te- tested here sensitivity is 70 to 100% and specificity is 99% again treatment is same doxycycline azithromycin levofloxacin remember levofloxacin dose in normal adult is 750 mg iv od azithromycin 500 mg orally or iv od doxycycline 100 mg bd all can be given for at least 5 to 7 days now another important organism which produces atypical pneumonia is chlamydia pneumonia chlamydia pneumonia it was uh, uh, it's a obligate intracellular organism it can produce lower respiratory tract infection and it can also produce non specific symptoms and it can lead to pneumonia 20% of the community acquired pneumonias are due to chlamydia so sometimes it can produce extra pulmonary diseases like atherosclerosis arthritis neurological problems and uh, some sexually transmitted disease also can be produced again the treatment is uh, atypical serology can be done or urine test for atypical pathogen can be done treatment is again levofloxacin 750 mg oral or iv once daily azithromycin 500 mg orally or iv once daily doxycycline also can be tried so we have discussed about a typical pneumonia basically we have to understand typical pneumonia means all typical findings of pneumonia will be there patient can have high degree fever uh, patient can have severe cough hemoptysis chest x ray may show consolidation pattern and uh, patient will be toxic whereas a typical pneumonia means it will be something like a viral pneumonia minimal symptoms x ray may show minimal infiltration but patient can have other findings like altered behavior hyponatremia hemolytic anemia diarrhea all these things so initially itself we have to treat the patient with either azithromycin or doxycycline or levofloxacin levofloxacin is a good choice in all these conditions because it act against a typical organism that is gram positive cocci a typical organism and anaerobes that is aspiration pneumonia and gram negative organism but only one important thing is in india we try to avoid this drug because of the fear of uh, drug resistance of uh, tubercular bacilli against this second line drug otherwise is a very good choice and most of the international textbooks advise this is the first line treatment in almost all type of pneumonia that's it. that is because of the wide spectrum of action of this drug but in india we are fear uh, we are to uh, use this drug only because it's a second line tb drug 
unnecessarily uh, if you are using this drug uh, there will be uh, resistance against uh, this drug by tb bacteria thank you